As part of the celebration of uh, what's called Jamaica 50, the 50th anniversary of independence of Jamaica, I was invited to do an onstage interview with Malcolm Gladwell, who's of Jamaican heritage through his mother. One of the pleasures of last night in particular was that he seemed just a little looser, a little edgier in his opinions about people and countries. Yeah, I had, I had very short hair and then I grew a big afro and then all of a sudden it was like suddenly occurred to people that I was black. In little sort of small, really kind of fascinating ways, my life changed. Not in huge ways, but, you know, I jokingly, but it's sort of true that I started getting speeding tickets. He's probably most famous for his first book called The Tipping Point, which, you know, became part of the language we speak, and that uh, sold, I think, something like two million copies, followed by a book called Blink, uh, which sold another two million copies, and then his book Outliers, I think he got something like a four million dollar advance. So he has been hugely successful, one of the most popular writers. When he was talking last night, and the book that he's working on next is about power and powerlessness, and he just feels to me like he's, he's not political in any obvious way and he makes a point of saying he's not political but the fact that the way he's committed and his social engagement was uh, very very gratifying to see and to hear and is something that I think listeners will enjoy hearing about.